Uh, you know that feeling when a company shares one of your images for the first time and you can't believe they're trusting the look and their brand with, uh, with your work? Now imagine that that company reaches out ahead of time and wants you to photograph a customer's car because they like your style and they want to hire you. This happens all the time. And if you know what to look for and shoot for when you're working for a client, it can really help open the door to a lot of opportunities. Tonight, we're going to focus on the aftermarket enhancement that makes the automotive modification world go round. Now, some people like them big and some people like them real. No matter what your preference is, they're one of the most commonly purchased parts when people start customizing their vehicle and they come in all colors and sizes. Now, while I'd love to think the suspense is killing you, the title of the stream and that video already kind of gave everything away. This week, we're talking wheel photography. This is Why Do I Love This? Founded back in 2007, Boston Wheels is a well-known player in the aftermarket world. Their wheels can be seen on anything from Fords to Ferraris and everything in between. Now, my guest on tonight's show is Kyle Martin, the marketing director for Boston Wheels. Kyle, how's it going, man? It's going great, man. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for being on here. I mean, this is awesome to get to talk to somebody with such a, a well-known company. I mean, you guys are just a staple in the aftermarket world for cars. This is fantastic to have you guys on here. For sure. We appreciate, again, the opportunity. It's a pleasure. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what the marketing director of Austin Wheels does? The marketing director of Austin Wheels. Man, oh, man. Uh, you know, it's rarely I ever feel like I'm truly working a nine to five job. I mean, I get to work with an incredible group of people, uh, different creators, whether it's photographers or videographers or graphic designers, you name it. But really just the day to day, the marketing director directs the, the brand and the what people see from the outside as Boston wheels. So whether it's merchandise, whether it's sales that we're running, whatever it may be, it needs to be the right feel, the right car, the right location. So it's kind of a creative director slash marketing director position. Okay. And so, you know, as, as someone who loves shooting cars and is always looking for ways to work with great brands like Vossen, mm -hmm. um, I kind of wanted to bring you on the show tonight to see if you could offer up some advice on what it is you guys look for when you're working with a photographer. Um, I've mm -hmm. got some pictures that I kind of uh, selected on my own, and I know you've sent over some stuff too that we'll take a look at. Sure. Uh, this was one of the... The first ones that I really liked that I saw when I was looking through your galleries was uh, some of these shots with this Ranger over here. For sure. Um, one of the things that I noticed with these sets that you guys have is you usually have a, a couple of full car images, you know, showing off the whole car with the wheels. Mm -hmm. And then there's also, obviously, there will be some full wheel shots like this, a little more detail on the wheel, closer up, really showing off the product. And sure. then obviously like a, a detail shot, like a beauty shot that really kind of shows off the details of the, the product that you're selling, which in this case is wheels. Is this kind of a standard that you guys have set for your photographers? Like these are the shots we want. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, usually uh, when we commission a vehicle to get shots of whether it's a new car or an old car, uh, we kind of give kind of creative freedom to the creator, if you will. Um, but most of the time we have those far away shots because those work really well for website banners or for the gallery or different applications for our dealers. Um, the detail shots that we're looking at right now and specifically uh, really just kind of showcases the manufacturing of our wheels. You know, we have the tagline engineered art and you get that close to the spokes, you see the intricate details, the cut lines, I mean, it's, truly a piece of art once it leaves our facility so you know when we have a photographer shoot a car sometimes you know the that specific photographer may have a certain shot that they kind of have as their trademark but uh we specifically look for shots that show off the fitment of the wheels the different angles how the wheel kind of fits the car um, anyone can do a side profile shot on their cell phone anyone can do a three-quarter shot but really kind of making the wheel look, you know, like it was built for the car originally. Okay. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I really love about some of these shots. Um, this, you know, obviously I'm, I'm assuming that this is Miami based on the, the background <laughs> and the, and the trees. Um, <laughs> it just, it has that vibe to it, you know, mm -hmm. with the editing that that's been done on the picture 
and the location is super cool and, and not one of the ones that I picked, but there, I saw there's another um, image in this set that was kind of a close up on the wheel and you could see the reflection of the garage door. I don't know if it was an Aventador, but you know, there's this beautiful green Lambo in the background too. And the only reason I didn't pick that one for this was because it, it might, it, it was almost kind of stealing my attention away from the wheel. Cause it's like, Oh, look at that. That's amazing. But again, it's part of that scene. You know, it really, really sure. sells the whole, the whole package of, of a, a lifestyle almost. For sure. It's uh, these particular images are done by Will Stern. So I'm sure you're, familiar with him. He's a, yeah. he's a god in the wheel industry. So, you know, we've worked with him for many years. He's worked with many other wheel companies for years. But when you look at an image from Will, I mean, you can tell that it's his shot, his editing, the way that he, I mean, the composition in his photos is incredible. So I've learned a lot from him. I know a lot of other young photographers have as well. So, I mean, it's, Every photographer has their look and feel, but Will has nailed down that commercial, just homemade, it, it's amazing. Every, every shot he does is pure art. Absolutely agree. Yeah, he's, he's an incredible photographer. Mm -hmm. um, let me get some more of these images. I've got some pulled up here that you sent over that I thought maybe you might wanna talk about here. Now, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and guess that this was, <laughs> Kyle's from last week that we had on is that is that would that be a, a correct assumption? That would be a correct assumption, and you know, it, for a wheel company, rollers you would think are kind of irrelevant, but to our customers, you know, they see the wheel in action. That's how ninety percent of people are going to see their car. So normally, you're only seeing your car when you lock it or you go outside to it or when someone else takes a photo of it. But you know, that's your you know personality going down the street. So. Um, the rollers, me personally, you know, I was literally sitting right next to Kyle when he got this picture and it's, you see it happening in front of you. And then when you see it fully edited and kind of brought to life and, you know, the full editing is done and everything, it's just, it's truly amazing how much better it looks than it does in person, which not saying that it looks bad, but it already looks beautiful and it looks that much better when it's complete. So sure. Um, that's why I chose to pick it. It's, you know, obviously an A12 super fast. It's lowered on Novatech spring. So it's the full package already. And uh, I mean, who doesn't love a red sports car going down the highway? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is, the, it, it's perfect. It is, it's perfect. And the wheels complement it. And, mm -hmm. and it was interesting to me that you, when, when you asked if we could include some motion images, to this because you know from what i've heard in the past from other people was you know oh they don't they don't want it to be that blurry because then you don't see the wheels you know they just want just a hair bit of motion on that wheel so that you can still tell this is the company that makes it this is what the wheel looks like and so to to hear you praise shots like this it's really interesting and, and i completely agree i think that that mm -hmm. is something that was kind of missing from some of these shots um you know something else i've always heard is cars were designed to move and so with every set you should have pictures of them moving exactly and you know personally if if a photographer reaches out and says hey customer contacted me with this car do you want shots of it do you want rollers it's like it's this giant hurdle of you know am I going to have to do rollers on this car? And simply for Kyle, I mean, it's, he, it's comes so natural to him to do them. So it's like, of course I want a K clutch roller in this set. Like, why not? <laughs> like it's, it's the full package. So it, uh, plus, I mean, I can't stop looking at this. Like it's just the perfect, the highway, the road, everything. It's just very, very visually appealing how it was done correctly. Yeah, that is, I'm, I'm very jealous of the highways that you guys have. And it's it somehow in most of these pictures, I'd say 99% of what he puts out there, it's like, this is the only car on the road. It just blows my mind how he's able to capture these. Cause I know there's gotta be other tracks. Exactly. And, you know, personally, if, if a photographer reaches out and says, Hey, customer contacted me with this car. Do you want shots of it? Do you want rollers? It's like, it's this giant hurdle of, you know, am I going to have to do rollers on this car? And simply for Kyle, I mean, it's, he, it's comes so natural to him to do them. So it's like, of course I want a K clutch roller in this set. Like, why not? <laughs> like it's, it's the full package. So 
it uh, plus, I mean, I can't stop looking at this. Like it's just the perfect, the highway, the road, everything. It's just very, very visually appealing how it was done correctly. Yeah, that is, I'm, I'm very jealous of the highways that you guys have. And it, it's somehow in most of these pictures, I'd say 99% of what he puts out there, it's like, this is the only car on the road. It just blows my mind how he's able to capture these. Cause I know there's gotta be other traffic, but you, you would never think that looking at most of his photos. That's very true, and we're lucky to have friends that may or may not be blocking traffic when these shots are taken. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you got to do to get the shot. <laughs> well, this is another one that you had sent over with this Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about this one, why you uh, had, yeah. had chosen this one? So this is actually a, a special image. Granted, it's not a supercar. It's not a hypercar. It's not something going down the highway at 180 miles an hour, but... This Lincoln uh, actually uh, comes from the company I worked for previously, and they had contacted me saying, hey, we have this new aviator. We really want to work with you on some wheels for it, but we're in Colorado. So uh, at the time, this is actually another uh, K Fletch shot. He had actually never been to Colorado, and he's been to different parts of the world, actually different parts of the United States, but his images are largely from Florida because it's in his backyard. So I kind of wanted to challenge him and say like, okay, this isn't the rollers on 595. This isn't, you know, the, the different airport that's over here or, you know, a parking garage wall. I want to see how you do with some greenery and some natural landscapes. So um, this image is uh, in a local state park. And um, I mean, it's normally when, a wheel company will shoot pictures are very unfortunately kind of cliche because they're in a parking garage they're on concrete it's something that's very clean and very uh kind of like a blank canvas but someone who has an aviator is it's a family vehicle it's you know i kind of want to show it in its natural habitat so you know this is a classy suv basically just out for a you know, a weekend with the family at a state park. And this is just a very serene capture. So um, that's why I chose this location for it. And uh, the video as well, just the views, everything. It's, it's a whole new world. And it's interesting that you say that I'm jealous of your highways because sometimes when we shoot, it's like, oh, we got to pick that palm tree or that palm tree over there or that <laughs> ocean over there. I mean, it's, it becomes very difficult to get different scenes or different locations because Florida alone is, you know, growing by the hour, it seems like, with high rises. So the spots that used to be like a cool construction spot or a cool rail yard are now an Ikea or a Starbucks. So it's like, okay, let's, let's find something else. So this was like a, a really awesome opportunity to a get you know a fellow friend of mine out and about and kind of showcase what he can do and honestly just i feel like being a creator and a creative person you kind of need to prove to yourself that you can do something repeatedly to have that like affirmation so you know doing this is uh you know wanted to showcase that to him keep it fresh yeah and one of the things i really like about this i've done a little bit of I don't even know that you'd classify this as off-road, but, you know, kind of this adventure style, um, you know, mountains and trails and, and vehicles. And I've gotten to do a little bit of that, even though I live in Kansas. I've been mm -hmm. lucky enough to find some spots with a couple friends and do that. And it's, um, it's, it's awesome to see this kind of shot coming from a company that's notorious for, you know, Miami and supercars with their products. And I mean, you guys, you really do, you outfit everything. I mean, it's not just supercars. You see Voss and wheels on everything, everything. but it, it was super cool to see this shot come through and to see that you guys, you're also in the mountains, you know, I mean, Voss and wheels, they fit on everything and they go everywhere. And it's really cool to see shots like this. And, and I mean, of course, Kyle's the one that shot this. He's got such a great eye for the way light hits cars. I've really noticed. It's just, it's spectacular lighting down really? the side of that car. It is. We actually, we have a customer, actually a sponsor over in Dubai, and he has a Viper, which most people don't know this, but Vipers are six slug vehicles. And 
we did a custom one offset for him and you know you have to basically engineer it like a truck wheel for it and he did a photo shoot recently with his new wrap and a new design and it's in the middle of these sand dunes in dubai and it's like seeing your logo on the side of a car it's just like it's so unique and to, the fact that he didn't do like a sky replacement or just you know photoshop the daylights out of it it's like that's was in front of someone's eye when they captured it so it's just very it's a very unique feeling when you see truly creative images come through for sure yeah absolutely so this shot is insane to me <laughs> i mean this is um now this is this kyle's as well no this is philip ruprecht over in germany so um okay. he's uh he's kind of Novatech's go-to guy for uh most of their photography but he's man is an animal when it comes to photography and it's it's the same thing when you look at an image it's you can tell that it's him so um there's actually a, a video that we did kind of showcasing behind the scenes it, it wasn't particularly of the lamborghini urus but um of a lamborghini aventador that they did but we did kind of a behind the scenes of philip and kind of like a photographer spotlight on him and um yeah i mean this this image just it's amazing. I feel like if you're not buying this vehicle, it's like, why are you even looking at this image? Because this is going to be burned into your head of like, man, I really want that car after seeing it. It's just, it's like eye candy. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah it's cool to see the different colors too on these. Um, the only one that I've even seen in our area, I think, is black. And so to get to see them in, in several different colors here, they're uh, you know, it seems like these are uh, people either love them or they hate them. There's not a mm -hmm. lot of middle ground on them. I think they're fantastic, but maybe that's because I've got three kids. So I'm kind of a, <laughs> the target audience for something like this. Exactly. And the thing that I find fascinating is you have, you know, four of these cars lined up. Two of them have gloss finishes on them. Two of them have kind of a satin sheen. And even on the top, the Novatech hood has, it's not standard excuse me, not standard carbon fiber, it's forged carbon. And so it's, this is kind of a side note, but uh, we did a project for a local realtor. And sometimes we collaborate on uh, some, you know, multi-million dollar homes as locations and we'll shoot a video, share the content with them. And it's a nice little, you know, we scratch your back, you scratch ours kind of thing. And we sent them over the images and she said, hey, the hood is actually dirty on this Lamborghini. Like something's wrong with it. And said, no, it's actually forged carbon. And, you know, it looks like it has like water spots or something on it. But the fact that you're looking at this image through this, you know, airplane hangar warehouse door, I mean, it, you could see that the first hood on the right is forged carbon through that detail. And I mean, it's truly a craft to be able to capture that in such a way so philip is he's an animal man he's he's not yeah he's he's his work is just absolutely phenomenal i think he's actually got a facebook group dedicated to people who want to talk to him about his work and I, i'm in there it, the stuff that gets shared in there is crazy i mean if, <laughs> if i ever felt like i wasn't doing a good enough job before jumping into that group has really made me humble so yeah. like, but yeah, I, I understand what you're saying about that, that forged carbon. It does. It kind of reminds me of like when leaves are on a, on a car and it rains mm -hmm. and then you peel them off. It's a very odd look to that, that if you've never seen it in person before, it totally does look like a dirty car. It is. But, it is. It's wild. That's a neat, neat look. Well, this, so one of the things I really like about this picture is the time that went into lighting these cars, knowing just a little bit about light painting. I, I mean, that's, and, and strobing. It's very obvious that a lot of work went into creating this image, and oh. um, it's I don't know are all the wheels the same on these? It's kind of hard to tell further back. So the first three vehicles are all our NL four. So Novatech designed the wheel with us. We produce it for them, and you actually can't get the Novatech wheel on your vehicle unless you do their full. Um, I believe it's called the Estoso kit. Um, that like wide body kind of widening stance of it. Um, the vehicle all the way in the back, that has the factory uh, Urus wheels on it, but the first three all have uh, 
the same NL4 on it, which to me, you have a, a black vehicle in the front that's outfitted that showcases, you know, all the different carbon bits, the wheels, how aggressive it is. And then you have a stock car all the way in the back. And it's kind of like, rightfully so, put that to the back because it's just, <laughs> it just looks so weak in comparison. So it's, uh, it's truly amazing how a set of wheels, sorry, the set of right wheels and some uh, carbon fiber pieces can truly just transform a car into something new. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I like that they, you know, it's nice that they still included that. It, it almost feels like an evolution of the car as you work your way up towards the front from the back. So that's <laughs> that's a really, it's a cool layout with the direction of the vehicle. Um, mm -hmm. So did he include shots like closer up of these wheels too? Or was this just a sh kind of a shot showing, you know, these are Voss and wheels with Novatech kit and everything, but it's just, is this mainly just to show off the car or was this a piece of a whole set that also showed off more details on the wheels? Yes, this was a piece of a whole set. Um, normally when he shoots vehicles, there's between 40 and 50 images that are all different locations, all different lighting, all different settings. So, uh, it's truly a pleasure when his photos come through because um, obviously our our markets are most prominent on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, when you upload something to say a gallery, you're uploading your Flickr folder and boom, you're done. But for Instagram, that gives you the ability to post you know multiple days worth of content out of the same car. So um, sometimes when let's say uh, like the land, the Range Rover that you showcased before, there was 12 to 16 photos in that set, which we could easily, you know, post up all of them in one day with the carousel on Instagram versus, you know, a couple today or a couple tomorrow or do the detail shots. It offers you a wide variety to kind of really build out some social media content with it. So um, this particular set from Novatech, um, there was multiple sets of detail images I could share with you um, afterwards. But um, yeah, it's always a pleasure when his content comes through. Oh yeah, I bet. Well, let's go on to the- He shoots vehicles, there's between 40 and 50 images that are all different locations, all different lighting, all different settings. So uh, it's truly a pleasure when his photos come through because um, obviously our, our markets are most prominent on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, when you upload something to say a gallery, you're uploading your Flickr folder and boom, you're done. But for Instagram, that gives you the ability to post, you know, multiple days worth of content out of the same car. So, um, sometimes when, let's say, uh, like the land, the Range Rover that you showcased before, there was 12 to 16 photos in that set, which we could easily, you know, post up all of them in one day with the carousel on Instagram versus, you know, a couple today or a couple tomorrow or do the detail shots. It offers you a wide variety to kind of really build out some social media content with it. So um, this particular set from Novatech, um, there was multiple sets of detail images I could share with you um, afterwards, but um, yeah, it's always a pleasure when his content comes through. Oh yeah, I bet. Well, let's go on to this next one here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this one. So this is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Um, this was from Champion. This is a K Fletch image. Um, this is one of the, not the first Taycan, but definitely one of the more recent ones. Um, the reason why I included the uh, guy there in the background, that's Della. And if you notice underneath his feet, um, he's actually on a hoverboard. So uh, most people, unfortunately, you see hoverboards in those YouTube compilation fails where people are taking out their dining room furniture. But most of our videos, Della is using a hoverboard with a Sony FS700 and filming everything. So you get those silky smooth panning shots up to the wheel or, you know, the nice shots around the rear bumper. I mean, the, the guy is a genie when it comes to filming 
in capturing a car. So this was at uh, Markham Park in Florida, so off one of the bike trails. But yeah, it was uh, that was a fun day for sure. Yeah, it's a cool image too. I like. I figured there's a reason that he's back there. It's kind of a nice. It really showcases the car, but then having that behind the scenes kind of look at the filmmaker coming into frame is is pretty cool. Yeah, it's this isn't one from our gallery. This is just one from our uh, kind of internal archive. So it still shows the editing and shows kind of the the almost finished product because you know you could easily Photoshop him out of it and make a nice three lane road out of it. But, you know, it goes to show you that it's Vossen as a brand is still, you know, a very family oriented, tight knit group of people that just really love what they do and sometimes get in the shop. So that's why I chose to keep it there. Okay. Well, let's bounce back over here on our screen. Get us back up here. So, um, Kind of one of the the last questions I had. We'll still look at a few more photos here. But one of the last questions that I had was on like tips that you would have for photographers that are are looking into shooting wheels on cars. You know, what uh, what advice would you have for somebody that would like to try and and maybe do some work for you guys or any wheel company out there? I think for the most part, uh, kind of to build on what we've been talking about. When you look at a a Will Stern image or a Philip Ruprecht image or a K Fletch roller, you know, each person has their own style and feel. And a lot of up and coming photographers kind of, they look at others for inspiration, myself included, just to kind of see editing styles or see how their composition is or anything. But part of being a photographer and part of being a, a creator in that sense you have to have your individual feel. And even if it doesn't, you know, seem right to someone else, like that's that's the whole point of art. So that would be kind of tip number one is don't worry about what everyone else thinks. Just do your own feel. Obviously, like don't principally be wrong in photography, but you know, make sure you you keep to the basics, but have your own feel for it. Um, number two would be only because of the company I previously worked for turned me into a, a detailing and OCD nut is make sure the wheel's clean. So if you're taking a close up shot of the car, normally you're meeting someone for a photo shoot and you go up to the top floor of a parking garage and you start shooting immediately. Carry a microfiber in your backpack and some quick detailer from like Pep Boys or something and just give the wheel a quick wipe down. It helps with you not having to Photoshop stuff out in the long run and just really makes the wheel image look 10 times better in the long run. Um, obviously make sure the lighting's correct, but that goes back to the whole principle thing. Um, and personally just still goes along the lines of principles, but make sure the center cap's straight if you're shooting for a wheel company. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's, it's like anything. You just got to, you know, do it time after time, get a feel for it. But, you know, location, I kind of want to break the mold on that. You know, find a parking garage or find a under highway pass to shoot for a wheel company. It's, you know, the some images that I see from photographers out there like, uh, like Alex Penfold, for example. He'll shoot in the middle of, you know, downtown London of a gulling Mercedes, the doors are up and everything. I mean, it's, the images are amazing that he captures. So it's, you know, don't, don't stick to something that's been done before. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. So that's kind of what keeps this whole industry driving forward. Okay. So like yeah. Really it, it's, you know, <laughs> I feel a little ashamed now having selected this nice parking garage photo set that, <laughs> but you know, one of the things I really liked about this though, was the contrast with it being a black vehicle and yeah. it's very monochromatic, except for that, that the little bit of yellow on the posts there. And then, you know, the, the little bit of blue that's still in the sky on the car, but I love yeah. the contrast of this and I love the reflections down the side. They didn't completely kill it. You can still see the shape of the car. I mean, I don't know 
whether that's all stuff that you guys are focused on too when you're selecting it, or if it's just, are the wheels visible? Are they well lit? I mean, I don't know how much of, of, of the thought goes into what the car looks like as well, or if it's mainly just, do the wheels pop enough? I mean, definitely the vehicle has to look good as well. This is actually a Will Stern shot. Um, can tell by how he does the sky with a little flare on the outside of it. I mean, it, he's, ah, it's frustrating how good he is at photography because I've seen this parking garage before and it, it, you know, the walls are not nearly that white. It's just, he transforms wherever he shoots. I mean, everything just turns out so well, but this shot, for example, it's a wide body Urus. He's capturing the wide body perfectly. You have the louvers on the side. You can see how much those aftermarket fenders stick out. There's not a ton of detail on the wheel itself, but this isn't really the, the whole subject that's in focus. So, you know, the wheel's in focus enough, the wheel's popping enough, it captures the sun just a little bit, but it's really showcasing right where that Continental meets the, the wide body of the fender. So it's showcasing that fitment of the, the wheel and tire. So to our customers and to our dealers, they can show this to a customer and say like, hey, this is like, absolutely at the edge of you know your boundaries between rubbing and not so you know our uh, our fitments are we kind of go for like an oem plus style fitment so most people are driving their cars every day or they're driving them to work or they outfit their significant other's vehicle with them you don't want to have to worry about rubbing or curbing a wheel or you know making your vehicle less functional just because of the looks of it so this is really showcasing that you're getting, you know, the absolute max with that wheel setup for uh, for this particular vehicle. And it's cool to hear you say that too, because as somebody who doesn't have at the stage of life that I'm in, I don't have like a fun car right now. I've got, I mean, we've got an Explorer and an older SUV as well, older Mazda. But I mean, it, I've I've tossed around the idea of putting wheels on it myself at some point, and I would take the same approach that, you know, I still want it to be functional. I don't want to have such skinny tires that, you know, if, if I go roll through the, the bank ATM and, you know, I don't want to have to worry about the curbs there. Exactly. Of course, I could be a good driver and not have to worry about the curbs too, but you, you never know, you know, you know life happens. Of but course. Um, yeah, and, and so, you know, and here's one of those, you know, close up kind of beauty shots with the details that I had mentioned earlier of this set. Oh. Man, oh man. I just, I love these shots. And it's so, like I said, it's so cool to see full car images and then a full wheel image and then just boom, like right up on the wheel. And again, I mean, so it, do you guys provide shot lists to people or is you, you just kind of said before, you just kind of let them run with their creative juices and submit? Uh, photo wise, we let them kind of go with it. We'll tell them, you know, a full shot, a three quarter, kind of like a, here's a, Here's a rubric for you and you can you know follow within these lines when it comes to video then we're a little bit more strict because not strict but kind of hold your hand a little bit more because we can't if it's a photo we can photoshop it we can crop it twist it light it differently a video it's kind of like all right here's your shot to you know, get this right and we've had times in the past where the photos turn out incredible of the same shoot the same day and the video gets done and it's like we can't do it because you can see you know dust on the hood or there's you know all this like road tar around something and it's you can really only use like half the footage or sometimes it's a complete wash so we've learned over the years to kind of hand hold a little bit and just make sure that these are the absolute shots that i need to have and anything after that you can run free and get creative with it icing on the cake right exactly so this was another one that um i mean you know just the car itself just sticks out yeah. that is that is the most beautiful c8 corvette that i have ever no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this though i love the color of the bridge because it goes so well with the car and and again you know it yeah. shows the wheels and 
one of the things that I think is, I, I don't know if these are black, but they look black almost on a mm -hmm. monitor. And I know that is yeah. such a struggle to try and really show those off properly because again, they're black wheels. I mean, you guys sell them mm -hmm. black because people want black wheels, but it, it's, yep. it seems like such a struggle to try and then show that off. And I guess that's where the importance comes in of, you know, getting these other alternate angles yep. and then really getting up close and getting those, those details. So you can see the spokes, you can see the line work there in the design. Exactly. And this particular vehicle, um, obviously has satin black, so it's not, as bad as gloss black, but uh, only because I feel like I have this conversation with them every other week. Will hates when I tell him gloss black car, gloss black wheels. And he's like, oh my gosh, this is going to be horrible because <laughs> how you polarize the image, how, I mean, it's an absolute nightmare to do it. And the only thing that's worse then that is a gloss white car with gloss black wheels because you know you're either overexposing everything just to get that gloss black wheel to pop and blowing out the white car or vice versa so it's i try not to do that but unfortunately it's it happens but this particular image this is a satin black wheel so I love this photo because the tones and everything, it's a very cold image. Uh, my buddy Daniel out in uh, California, obviously, shot this and um, just, it, it makes you want the car, even if it's like not even in your wildest dreams to ever be able to, to have the car or anything. It's just such a pleasing image to look at because you have a beautiful backdrop that everyone's familiar with and this amazing car that's just looks even better in a photo. So it's, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, all the photos from this set when I was looking at the gallery are just the, the tones are incredible across the board and it was hard to pick just a couple mm -hmm. out of this, but the bridge really that rear shot with the bridge really, mm -hmm. really sells that with that, that tie in. It's such great, um, composition, you know, I mean, yeah. it, you just look across the entire image because there's so much going on there. It's, it's a fantastic photo. It's a great set. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see here. This was another one that kind of stood out to me. I love this. Now this is obviously, um, is this UK? Yes. That's our customers overseas, uh, Prestige Wheel Center. And this was a cool set too, because I mean, it, it, it's, you see a building that old here in the States, it's typically a church. So it's about the only reason it hasn't been knocked down or replaced with a parking garage. <laughs> exactly. But, so, uh, but yeah, there's some great architecture over there and it was neat to kind of see this set and, and utilizing kind of an estate, a really, really nice looking older building. Um, great, great landscaping, obviously gray skies. Um, which, you know, in this case kind of worked to the advantage, I guess, with the color of the vehicle, right? Yeah, for sure. But yeah, again, you know, full shot, wheel shot, and then details. And oh. I, I love seeing that consistency in so many of these sets because it kind of does give uh, uh, an outline for people aspiring to get into this. Like, all right, this is, you know, I need to get these angles of this vehicle and then I need to make sure I get these wheel shots. And like you said, you know, in this shot is a good example that that logo is up and down, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's actually like it's correctly oriented so that the logo is readable. It's not upside down or sideways or anything. It's such a small detail that it seems like a lot of people miss and I do it all the time myself. So it's uh it's interesting because this particular wheel like obviously excuse me the vans overseas and uh in places like asia and stuff it's just you can put wheels on anything it's it truly shows the kind of complexity of our fitment range but this particular shot it shows uh this is actually our hf3 um, it's our hybrid forge series. So we're actually, uh, we're able to either ship you a flat profile wheel like this one. So you can see, you know, the spokes go directly out, follow the body line of the car. It's as flat fitment as you can get just because the offset on this particular vehicle probably only allowed for that versus the shots that we just looked at on the, in Largo, the A12 Superfast. 
you can see how concave the center cap is to the edge of the wheel. So those detail shots really come in handy when talking to a customer. I mean, the only reason we're really shooting cars is, you know, because customers want to see the photos of what their car may look like, what this could look like, vice versa. But um, I mean, it just really shows the overall just, there's so much to look at. I mean, obviously working in this industry, you, you pick up different things and have a new appreciation for it, but it's uh, the photos are the, the thing that kind of makes this whole thing sing. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead. We'll move on over here and kind of close out with one of these videos that you sent over to me. So yeah, I mean those are those are amazing, and and you're right. I mean he's definitely got a style. This same guy, right? Yep, Della. Yeah, I mean it's it's just incredible that crossfade between the two cars in the same spot is just like uh, that's just amazing. <laughs> exactly. It's uh, it's funny because the Urus that we watched in the beginning of this is built on the same platform as those two vehicles. So. You know, the guts are the same, the definitely not the insides. Obviously, one's an Audi, one's a Lamborghini, but it just shows you how much different it looks, but how we need to make it look the same when it comes to video quality. Um, and obviously, the Evo series on that car, the Evo 5 is on the white car, and the Evo 3 is on the black one, but it just, they looked so good so that particular video was shot with uh, an anamorphic lens so we've been experimenting a little bit with that so that's why you see the you know on the headlights the lens flares and stuff but uh you know you, you you're not making michael bay productions when it comes to wheel videos but 
you know, in the wheel industry, you know, it's, I'd, I'd have to venture to say that we probably have some of the best, if not the best videos out there when it comes to just showcasing a piece of metal with five bolt holes in it and mounted to a car. So it's, uh, there's uh, definitely a lot of brand awareness around that. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see that variety too in your videos. It's, it's like the photos, you know, you see full car, full wheel detail but then there's all this extra storytelling. I mean, I, I've done a little bit of video work myself and I completely, I mean, I, those guys, they have my respect. Video is such a hard beast. I mean, it's really, it's a difficult thing when you compared to setting up a tripod, taking as many exposures as you think you're going to need, throwing, yeah. you know, walking around it with a light or whatever, and then putting it all together. You just don't get to do that really with video. Yeah. And so the guys that, that master it, it's, Hats off to them. It's it's fantastic. It's really great work that you guys are putting out. Very much appreciated. It's uh, it's funny because when Will and Della both shoot in the field, you know, we'll say, oh, you know, I could Photoshop that out, whatever. And Della's looking at Will like, well, you can. Like, I can't do that unless I'm going to, you know, crop it frame by frame. It's it's funny to see them, the the both of them bicker back and forth. But together, I mean, they just – I look forward every time a set comes through or I'm, you know, even when I'm right next to them shooting photos for social media or for whatever, it's just how they compile their work. It just, you truly see their passion come through that. And even after shooting, I think we have, you know, 500 something videos on our YouTube. It's just still new, fresh, you know, very solid content that comes through. So it's uh, hats off to them for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's always the, the stuff that I see coming from your company. There's, there's always an energy to it. It's never, it never feels old. It never feels flat. It is, it's always new. Mm -hmm. It is always fresh. Exactly. Well, thanks again for agreeing to come on here. Um, no you know, you've given us a, a lot of great advice. There's a lot of, a lot of information here that I think people will be able to walk away with and, uh, Hopefully at some point you'll be working with some new photographers too. That'll also be wowing you with, with what they're putting together. Myself included. I, I look forward to working with new people every day. So thank you for having me on here. I really appreciate it and uh, hope to work together soon. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, for all of you that tuned in tonight, thank you so much for watching. This has uh, been Kyle Martin, the marketing director for Voss and wheels. Um, you know, you guys can check out more, Great pictures, uh, videos especially that they do on Facebook or on their website. It's bossandwheels.com. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So check them out online. They're also on Instagram. Fresh content all the time. Some of the best stuff out there. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Have a great night and we'll check you next week.